Hi guys! Hope it's working. I just recorded a 10 minute video that for whatever reason the microphone decided to not work. So that's really annoying and if any of you who know how annoying that is then just like like this video right now because I'm doing it again for you. So I hope you appreciate it. <laughs> Um, so my name is Megan and I am from the blog What Wagon Did Next and if you want to know what that is then go below and click on the link. I am going to talk to you about my coming out story because this is something that a few people have asked us to do and it's really hard for us to get time to sit down to do it whilst we record kind of a lot out and about we don't actually have a lot of time to do set to videos. So Whitney's at work and she's at work a lot so I don't know if you'll we'll ever get a coming out video from her but hopefully we'll do our Q&A video for you soon. So yeah, I'm going to talk to you about coming out and I am 24 years old and I came out as gay when I was probably 16 years old. So for me it's kind of a long time ago, well 8 years and I don't have the best memory so I'll just kind of whiz by what my coming out story was like. I realised I was into girls probably at the age of 11 and I started coming out when I was probably about 13 online. I found like, you know, internet community, LGBT community and started telling people that I was bis I thought I was bisexual at first. I've never had a problem with liking girls or being gay or whatever but at first I was more worried um, people's opinions and particularly my mother's so I kind of wanted to I don't know I guess believe at first that I was bisexual even though this wasn't the case and after a few years I realized nah I'm not into boys mm -mm -mm. <laughs> just girls I came out to friends online and then my best friend when I was maybe 15 16 I remember um, sat downstairs emailing her one night and just saying I don't know that word but I said you know I'm gay and what was really funny was that she was emailing me at the same sort of time to say I'm gay too so it was really weird we had no idea that that was the case so that was kind of cool and she was really shocked she thought but you're straight as a ruler and I was like hell to the no and I ended up having quite a lot of friends who were gay or bi or you know just open-minded and I never re had a problem at school I never came out to loads of people where everyone just kind of knew I was always into gay rights and I think it was pretty obvious that I was a lesbian and then coming out to family I never really told my sisters I have one that's a year and a half younger and then one that's seven years younger but she kind of gathered anyway and my mother was the hardest to deal with coming out and I knew that from a young age anyway so I was dreading it I did not want it to happen and I thought the best way I would want to do it is when I was in a loving committed relationship that way I could be like I'm gay and here's my girlfriend la 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 and I'm happy Woo. and if it all went wrong you know I'd just run away with my girlfriend but that wasn't the case my mother ended up outing me yeah it's a long story how it happened but it did and I was really scared really scared and I really don't want to talk to her about it but my sister reminded me that I am who I am I have nothing to be ashamed of and that I should just go talk to her so I was like okay yeah you're right stormed in there doodaloo and received a whole lot of hatred pretty much the worst that has ever been said to me about being gay. I've never had many problems, so I guess she was the worst to react. But, probably, you know, in a weird way, it was just because she was worried about me and worried about the life I'd, I'd then lead and whether I'd be discriminated against throughout life and who I'd bring home as a partner. And it was a year or so or more until she started to come around to the idea of it and be nicer about it. My mum said to me, you know, I realised that you can be happy and I'm not worried about you anymore because she realised that there are other girls who are like me who are equally, I guess, as feminine um, and that's who I wanted to be with. For some reason, I'm like, that's better for mother? I don't know. Oh, that's for my father. doesn't really care. He's pretty chillaxed and... He probably tells more people than I do almost. <laughs> I always find out people know that I would never even bother telling and I'm like, really? But the neighbour or the person down the road? And it was quite funny because we didn't you know, I didn't know what to do about my granddad. And then we we're kinda of talking about it once and mum said, Well, there's no need for him to know is there and then dad was like, What do you mean? He knows, he's in for ages and I was like, Oh my goodness, like it was quite sweet really. 
for those of you who do know, obviously I've met a beautiful American called Whitney and we're engaged. We've been together for three years and my family absolutely love her. They think that she is amazing and they will be devastated if we ever broke up, which we won't, but yeah, you know, mum has said to me many times, you know, she she'd hate for Whitney not to be in their lives and for us to finish, so um don't worry mother, it's not gonna happen. It kinda just illustrates how, you know, a mum or any can react badly to when you first come out to then change their opinion and their perception as time goes on. So for those of you worried about coming out to your parents and if they do react badly then you know just hold faith that it will get better and for some it will take longer, for some it would, won't be so long. Just be who you are and stay true. For those of you who are worried about coming out to your friends, firstly yes it can seem like a big at the end of the day, if they are your best friends, then they should like you for who you are. And if they're not going to like you for who you are, then why do you want them as friends? I mean, I thought of that quite a few years ago. Well, hey, wait a minute, what's the point if they don't like me? I don't want them as my friend. So, simples. Obviously, that can be kind of alienating if that is the case. But there are lots of people out there online to support you. If there's no one nearby, there are lots of LGBT communities and Tumblr is a big place where there's a lot of gay people, a lot of gay girls in particular, so you won't be alone. And yeah, that is my coming out stories. I'm thirsty. Another thing to keep in mind is that you never stop coming out throughout life. It's irritating, it's just the way it goes. Pretty much most people will assume you have the opposite sex partner, and when you, you know, start a job or meet new friends, it's something that has to come up at some point where you have to either correct them or just come out with it. <laughs> and I haven't really ever had a bad reaction, but you do have to judge who you're telling and and just be careful, really. Me and Whitney have never really experienced homophobia ever. We are quite lucky in that sense. Um, but I think it's kind of a sad thing to say that we're lucky not to experience discrimination for who we are. I mean, we shouldn't, but that's the way things are obviously getting better for those of you who are coming out or have just come out then I wish you all the best in doing so and remember that you are never alone and there's always going to be people that care for you and it does get better woo so yeah Megan signing off and hopefully you'll see us soon in a Q&A vid bye bye